are the NIST Biometric Web Services Project, and we came up with a protocol that lets anything that knows how to communicate with the web, so uh, phones, tablets, laptops, whatever, um, talk to any kind of biometric sensor, uh, fingerprint scanners, iris scanners, cameras for facial recognition, anything that knows how to capture data about a person. So what this app allows us to do is to capture a series of biometrics in a particular order. So what we have here is a left hand print, a right hand print, and a face image. So we're first going to capture the left print. Comes right back to the device once the print's captured at the sensor. We're then going to take the right print. And finally, we're going to take the face image. And you can see here that from an operator's perspective, they don't have to learn anything new to control a new kind of biometric sensor. They all work exactly the same. The reason it's important to have a standardized communication like Web Services for Biometric Devices is that it allows communication between the devices and the machines that are trying to get information from them in a way that doesn't require drivers, that doesn't require any sort of proprietary knowledge about the scanner before it's plugged in, and that can be done in a location-independent way because we're also supporting wireless communication.